Hello there. So I've got some great news for you. Linux OS 16 based on Android 9.0 Pi has been released for the Samsung Galaxy J7 2016. And in this video, I'm going to walk you through all the new features with the Linux OS 16 or the Android Pi for the, for the Galaxy J7. Let's begin. Now before we begin, I want to give you some disclaimers. Uh, this uh, is during the recording of this video is the second build of Linux OS 16 so it is still in beta and bugs and issues are bound to be present uh, so I would not suggest you install this ROM on your J7 if you're using this phone as a daily driver I would only recommend it to uh, uh, secondary phones or something now this is m not my phone uh, this is a used phone so uh, I installed this ROM and uh, actually a lot of cool stuff with it. Uh, in terms of installation process, you can find it. Uh, it is the same procedure as installing Linux OS 15 or any other ROM out there. So I will give you the link to my video on how to install Linux OS 15 on the J7. So if you haven't watched that, I give you a link there uh, right on the uh, top right corner. But anyways, let's get started. Now, right off the bat, let me just go ahead and confirm to you that this is really Android 9.0. So you need to go, see if I go to About Phone, and Android version, as you can see, we got the Android 9.0 Pi along with its uh, new Easter egg. You also got the Linux OS version uh, Easter egg as well, which is really nice. All right, so what are the new features to expect with the new Android 9.0 Pi? The first and probably the biggest new feature is the new navigation gestures. So you, as you can see, I can actually swipe up to go to the app drawer, or to go to the app switcher actually. Um, I can drag this pill, there's a pill here, I can actually drag this pill left or right to navigate through applications, right? I can just uh, swipe the pill right away to jump to the last app that I use. And of course, I can swipe all the way for app drawer, right, really nice. Uh, you can actually enable this by heading into, heading into settings, system, button, and enable the on-screen navigation bar. Now, if you enable this navigation bar, the hardware home button will still work, but the capacitive recent and back key will be disabled. All right, they, they still work, but they are disabled. And then uh, you need to go and go advance, gesture, swipe up on home button, and, and tap and switch this on, and there we go. We have the new navigation bar on this one. Uh, I didn't, I haven't test, I haven't really uh, got my full judgment on that yet, but my initial, my initial thought has been fine. Uh, are, there, are there other stuff? Of course, there's the new look and feel like uh, the new lock screen you know it feels a little, little more refined uh there is a new animation when you uh, jump in and out of, a, of an applications really cool uh a little long drawn but you know still really nice to cool to look at there's the new status bar with the uh, clock position on the left there is the new uh, notification center and the quick settings uh, with the rounded corners and the new material design 2.0 inspired design there's the new settings menu you know more cleaned up uh much easier to manage and of course we got the new volume slider uh right there as you can see right feels uh really in it's not in the way like uh, before anymore um one of the coolest feature of android pi Baked in into the OS is the digital well-being, which is pretty much to track down your app, your app usage, your phone usage, you know how many unlocks, how many notifications, and then tells you what is uh, what is right to stop using your phone uh, to prevent uh, phone addiction. And and to me, what are the most what are the best features of Android 9 Pi? Small but really important is the, the dynamic rotation. So, you know that I got the auto-rotate off. As you can see, I got the auto-rotate off. And let's say I'm in an app, like the phone. If I go over to the landscape, 
go to the landscape it doesn't it doesn't rotate right because i disabled auto rotate but there is but there is going to be a little button down the button there there's a this little uh rotation button let me just give you another here there we go we got the rotation button if i tap on it it will it will rotate the screen to landscape right without having to interfere with auto rotate this is actually the really cool feature, really useful features, um, because it's been pretty annoying when you're in bed and you just keep uh, toggling your auto rotate on and off. You know, really annoying. Um, there are also uh, changes to the way you edit your screenshots. So you take a screenshot, you can tap, you can uh, edit right right away using Google Mockup, right? Really cool. You can uh, look at the how you can uh, take a look here, right? You edit your screenshot, really uh, useful. And uh, there also also there are also miscellaneous features like uh, text selection, slices, and additional notification informations. Uh, however, there are two missing features. Uh, there is no adaptive battery. Right, it is in a form of battery manager, but it's not a fully fledged battery adaptive battery, and of course there is no adaptive brightness because this is this phone lacks auto brightness sensor, so it's really no use. So that's what you can expect for the new Android 9.0 features. Now, is there a, now are there any other Linux OS features uh, or additional Linux OS customization built in? Now, honestly, there aren't a lot. Um, because Linux OS already has a pretty a good load of customization baked in, like buttons here, uh, gestures, system profiles, status bar. There are minor changes, uh, additions like the clock. You can change, you can set the clock position to left, right, or center, uh, show the seconds or AM PM style. And there is also one additional gesture which is prevent the ringing by pressing the power and the volume up together to vibrate, mute, or just do nothing. Like just press here, right? And you can vibrate, put your whole phone to vibrate mode or stuff like that, all right? So really handy. Uh, so that's all you can expect with Linux OS features. Now, this ROM is not perfect. There are still some bugs and issues found in this ROM, as I have already mentioned in the beginning of this video. Now, uh, there are some things that are not working. For example, there is NFC not working, there's VOLTE not working, um, there's Hardware Composer, which is not, uh, you know, this not gonna affect your user experience. It's, it is in the uh, developer options, but it is not working, it is there, it is not working. Also, there are some occasional touch delays, but I uh, actually haven't been able to uh, find that yet. I haven't experienced any touch delays. You know, it's been pretty good so far. Um, also, as any as with any other AOSP ROMs, this ROM has still has some video recording issues. After which, you can you can actually fix it using another camera app like uh, Footage. Uh, matches uh, the 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 safety net hasn't been passed yet. I'm not sure about matches though, but some people have said that the matches still can't be installed on this phone as of right now. Um, there is a weird internal problem that every time you reboot your phone, you know it's 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 minor, but you know it's something to keep in mind. Of uh, also there's proximity sensor issues, but. Uh, the, the, the second build of this ROM actually fixed that already. And also something I noticed, the animation is a little choppy. It sometimes it's smooth, but sometimes it can get kind of like 15 to 20 frames per second animations. And uh, which is, um, you know, kind of annoying if you, uh, if you kind of like animations in the past, like me, uh, you can find it a little too, a little annoying. But uh, that's all the bugs you can expect. So that's pretty much it for the new Linux OS 16 on the Galaxy J7. And honestly, I was kind of surprised by uh, how well these developers were able to port Linux OS 16 to this phone. Uh, considering that you know this phone is you know already on Android Oreo, Nougat, Marshmallow, and um, getting Oreo is really great things. It kind of shows how uh, 
popular this phone is in terms of development and uh, developer support. So I hope you like this video. If you like it, hit the like button down below. If you support my channel, uh, click the subscribe button. And uh, also, if you have any other ideas or any concerns, uh, comment, pick, uh, give me some comments uh, so that I can resolve you as soon as possible. Anyways, thank you and goodbye.